Everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. And between videos, somebody hailed me, and um, I've managed to finally get my trade for the Made Man in Trade Fortress 2. And so I'm quite happy about that. Had to um, scrap back a few weapons I didn't want to, like I was somewhat using, but I was like, no, oh, I must get it now. So I've got it now, and everything is happy and yay. But as for XCOM, the Tadpole Woman is now exiting the XCOM craft. That's right. She is out of the craft, and now... Saria. Um, yeah, Saria. You are now out of the craft as well. Um, that's probably all the people that should be out of the craft at this time. We shall end our turn. Doors move. Disruptor pulse launch at Aquatoids move as well. And much movement is seen throughout the general area. Claire of Rice wishes to practice her rice ball skills on this grenade. Or as four kids likes to call them, jam-filled donuts. That's right. Um, the alien probably saw us do it, but it is so stunned that we happily gave it a rice ball that it is unable to do anything else but remain stunned. Which takes some effort, let's be honest. Okay. And there's the the enemy alien. It isn't facing us, so it might be possible for Mon 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 to use her, oh, his or her grenade and throw it over here. Out of range, out of range, out of range, it's not going to happen, is it? Oh, that was a nice thought. Bush Tucker can do it. He's a real man. But his time units are used up, so he can't do it this turn. He can be a real man next turn. At least Fair of Rice is a real woman. It's always good to know these things. Um, it only grenaded itself, which is rather convenient. Um, was feeling a bit left out that Mon 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 wasn't able to grenade it into submission. So we happily did it for us. And I will say thank you for being so gentlemanly and sportsmanlike, enemy alien. You have done well. And we are proud of you. Here at XCOM. And as we continue our journey on throughout the days and miles and lives of our Aquanauts, we will not forget the sacrifice that was made by the Aquatoids who do not wish such a harsh resolution to this conflict. But unfortunately, the alien overlords do not agree. Saria has made a noble effort forwards, and Bush Tucker shall also make a noble effort towards the coral reef here. But shall not turn the corner just yet. Anyway, Mon 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 has a primed grenade in his or her hands, and shall now stand there. Um, yeah, I suppose it's a turn. And other Ellen defeated by the Master of Rice, Claire. A worthy XCOM operative. Well done, Claire, on being a good soldier. You have done well. Let us continue onwards. Bush Tucker, turn the corner. And RHG, Red Hot Go. Bush Tucker is investigating this area and sees nothing amiss. And now Saria also does her investigations. And once again, nothing is wrong. But there is something wrong out there in this world. Otherwise, we wouldn't be playing XCOM. Terror from the Deep. So we will encounter the alien sub, but we shall destroy it. Using the power of sonic weaponry, as well as other forms of weaponry. Perhaps a few disruptor pulse launchers, if we so feel inclined. There is an alien right there. It is equipped with a disruptor pulse launcher. And Mon 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 does have a grenade prepared. Unfortunately, the grenade was not as sufficient to eliminate the enemy alien. It did, however, eliminate itself in a blaze of glory, as well as our noble Kasonolinth tank. But we have more where that came from. Actually, no, that alien was taken out. Lots of aliens were taken out. But still, we, the alien has at least taken some damage, and we are, rest, we are assured that it will not go 
the um, tank, rather, will not go unavenged. But we must now be cautious. There are aliens with disruptor pulse launchers, and they are not afraid to use them, like aliens. I like how I'd say move there, and Bush Tucker decides no, I will detour to make my way through as much of the coral which saps my energy as possible. It's like, thank you, Bush Tucker, for being such a dense. <laughs> okay. We need some noble ex-cop soldiers. Oh, the operative with no name has now exited the Triton vehicle. And she will put an end to all who seek to defy the will of XCOM. We are time units are not sufficient, so we shall must end our turn. Doors are activated, and the turn continues. The battle continues. The legend continues. And Bush Tucker continues to find little treats on the ground. Because that's his job. Bush Tucker. Okay, what do we have here? We have an Aquatoid Corpse, a Sonic Cannon. With rounds in it. I like that. I like that a lot. How about here? We also have a Sonicotoid Corpse and a Sonic Cannon with rounds in it. I like rounds. And let us continue onwards. Make it so you can't fire. That's the best way. Everybody keeps telling me that I should reserve time units. And yes, I should, but it just gets annoying. But, oh well. Um, the woman with no name is now advancing. Now just imagine that, you know, at the operating table. Well, not the operating table. Hope, let's hope we're not operating on the, on the mother. But at the um, delivery table, you know, she was like, oh, the mum's like, you know, of course, an obvious pain. You know, going, I don't care anymore. Just name it whatever. And so they just didn't give it a name. They're just like, oops. Or it could possibly be that when they made the birth certificate, it got lost. So she was forever christened as, yeah, you know, that name. It's an awesome name. Anyway, um, we've all, like, sort of scattered around the landscape. Ooh, that was explosive. Ooh, grenades. Ah, that was exciting. I enjoyed that. We have lost two XCOM operatives. Through the use of enemies using the grenade tactic, as well as, um, disruptor pulse launchers. But the woman with no name is not going to stand for this sort of nonsense. She has a grenade, and she will prepare it, and then she will use it against the enemies. I have reason to believe they're somewhere around here. Out of range. Okay. But let us not be silly. We must now play it a bit more casually. There's not much cover, and there are aliens with superior weaponry. And they are not afraid to use it. And I'm thinking it is time for not, us not to not be afraid either. So it is time, Yak of Glory, for you to, to stand up and to be noticed. For you to equip the Disruptor Pulse la Launcher. And next turn you shall launch it. But not this turn. Mama Mama Mon, you shall now move over here. Actually, no you shouldn't, because standing on top of another corpse is likely to make you a corpse as well. Aha! I was right. But Alien is standing on top of a bomb, and it will die. Aha! Take that, Aquatoid! Our ingenious skills paid off! But there's still a an alien around here somewhere, who is very grenade happy. This is rather an interestingly shaped UFO, actually. It'd be good to take it home and investigate it. It is now time to start making sure we can actually fire our guns. So just making a mental note of the time units remaining after a move. Ah, here's the culprit. Bush Tucker has spotted the enemy alien. So Bush Tucker should now get ready with his um, weapon and fire. Eliminating the Aquatoid threat. But there are still many more threats to discover. So when we come back next video, we will continue to play XCOM. Terror from the Deep.